For a sternal cable press, we are going to set an upright bench in front of our cable machine just like this. Now, I like to have my bench pushed back all the way so that I'm not sliding backward, but if you're not able to do that, you could put a dumbbell behind your, uh, the legs of your bench to kind of keep it sturdy. All right, next, we're gonna sit down on our bench and we're gonna look at where about our armpit height is at. And if you draw straight, you know, just kind of like put your arm out from that, that's roughly where you want your cables to be. Now, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit higher or a little bit lower than this. For reference, a little bit lower, we'll be pushing a little bit up like this, which would be more upper chest. And if your cable's a little bit higher, we're gonna be pushing a little bit more down like that, which would be more lower chest. But we want it in right, right about in line with our armpits or maybe our shoulders. Next, I'd recommend grabbing one uh, handle at a time. So grab it like this. I like to keep it tucked into my body here, twist it around, then I grab the other and it pulls me into position. Next, uh, keep the cables on the tops of your arms. So don't try to do it like this. Keep your uh, arms pressed up against those uh, cables and then push straight forward. Now notice that my hands are about 45 degrees and my upper arm abduction, abduction is about 45 degrees as well. Not too far tucked in, not too far flared out, just right in there. Again, not gonna make a huge difference, but it's pretty comfortable there. Okay, so you're gonna bring them back, get a nice uh, stretch on the chest here, press forward. Just like this. Once you're done, let one side down, let the other side down.